Best hiking in Banff National Park. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. So I've seen the CN Tower. I've seen the edge walk of the CN Tower. That looked really, really cool. I really, really want to see some hiking in Banff and see and explore Canada's natural beauty. So I'm really looking forward to this video. Eight mind-blowing hikes, best hiking in Banff National Park. Let's get into it. Just look at the sights, man. Oh, there was a bear. There was a bear. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Zach and Ina from World Wild Hearts. Hey, Gally. And today we're going to do a video on the best hikes in Banff National Park. Okay. Yeah, so we spent two summers in Banff and we hiked tons of trails, like hundreds of trails. And so we have a really deep insight on what the best trails are. So enjoy this right. video. Okay. So here is the best hiking in Banff National Park. These hikes are ranked in order of our personal favorites. All right, okay. We also cover the route overview, difficulty level, how long it yeah, takes to get there difficulty from Banff, level. Can and other anyone essential just facts do these you need hikes? to know for each hike. <gasps> just look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Starting off at number eight, we have the Tunnel Mountain Hike. Okay. This out and back trail is located right in the town of Banff. It's the smallest summit around with switchbacks up the forested side of the mountain. This makes it the perfect hike for families with kids. Okay. It's easy, safe, and straightforward <gasps> with clear signs oh. along the whole way. Oh, hello, look at you. Oh my gosh. Oh. Coming in at number seven, we have the Sea Level Cirque Hike. This the is one of the level best Cirque hikes hike. that is closest to the Banff Town Center. Okay. Not only does it offer breathtaking views of the immense Five Lake Minnewonka, to six hours. but it also passes old mine buildings and shaft holes. This makes for an interesting hike all the way through. And while the first four kilometers is a steady uphill through the forest, the final two kilometers are out in the open, <gasps> oh. with views down the Bow Valley to Mount Rundle and Canmore. If you're lucky, you'll be able to spot wildlife such as mountain goats, marmots, chicas, oh. and bears. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about this second hike. It was rank difficult. It goes for five to six hours. As beautiful as it looks, who's doing that? <laughs> Aussie Tash can't do that. <laughs> Can you go over there in a helicopter ride instead? That would be pretty cool. But oh, <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of helicopters too. Um, This just looks absolutely beautiful. Seeing all the footage of Canada, oh my God. Banff National Park is so beautiful. Lake Louise, the water, it's just so crystal clear. It's like a mirror image of each other. Then they go on hiking. You can see a little bit of the snow on the top of the mountains. You're seeing bears. You're seeing little animals. It's just absolutely insane. I'd love to do one of these simple hikes. I can't do a five to six hour hike, but I just want to see the view. So that's why I'm really looking forward to diving into this video and just enjoying the beautiful sights of Banff National Park. Let's keep on going. Oh, just look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's absolutely incredible. At number six is number Moraine six. Lake. This is the most iconic lake in all of Canada. Okay. And you'll soon understand why if you hike these trails. Easy, all right. Not only does this it one. have the most impressive mountain backdrop and turquoise right. color of all the lakes, but it's also very accessible during the summer. Okay. You can park your car right next to the lake, allowing <gasps> you to spend all your time on oh. the beautiful lake itself. Okay, that's where they take that picture from. And while this very yeah. short rock pile okay. hike offers the best view of the lake, oh the gosh. Lakeshore Trail shows you the grandeur oh. in different perspectives. So take in that's both real, angles man. by combining that's these actually trails real. and you'll be left speechless. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, sign me up for that one. It said easy, you see the beautiful view of that lake. It's just absolutely fantastic. Oh. <laughs> You are lost for words, man. At number man. five, we have Healy Pass Trail. Healy Pass Trail. This is a trail. hike that you should only pursue when the wildflowers are in bloom, in our opinion. 
Okay. Which is usually from the end of July until mid-August. All right. Difficulty. Medium. Hike. Six to eight hours. Distance, 18.3 kilometers. Mm, no. <laughs> I don't think I could do this one, but let's see what views you get when you do this hike. Let's go. Whereas the majority of the hike winds through the forest, the final stretch goes through the meadows. This part is filled with fields of colorful wow. wildflowers, incredible views of the surrounding mountains, and Egypt That's Lake. cool. These views make the hike totally worth it. And That's besides, a beautiful spring the summer, day. The fall offers summer something day. spectacular okay. as well. <gasps> the larches oh. are in full color. Yeah. We don't have anything this beautiful like this in Australia. Oh, we've got the Great Bay Reef. I've never been there. I have to go there. But just look at this. Oh my gosh. The beautiful flowers are in bloom. It's a beautiful, beautiful clear day. Oh my gosh. Didn't they pick a perfect day for it? My gosh. Aren't you afraid of bears? Yeah, no. Aren't you a bit a bit afraid of bears the being there? The best hike in Banff is the Big Beehive Trail. The Big Beehive Trail. This was trail. one of our favorite hikes in Banff for good okay. reason. Not only does it offer the most impressive view of Lake Louise, oh. but it also takes you along multiple lakes and viewpoints. Okay. Difficulty, medium, 10.3 kilometers. Four to five hour hike. 45 minutes drive time from Banff to Trailhead. Oh, four to five hours. Man. <laughs> Is that four to five hours there and back? I'm hoping that's how they're calculating this. I'm not quite too sure. Leave a comment, guys, and let me know if you guys have done any of these hikes. They look absolutely incredible. 10.3 kilometers. Oh, my gosh. That is a lot of walking. But it just looks absolutely spectacular. Like I said, guys, please, if you've done these hikes, jump on. Tell me your stories. I'd love to hear them. Big beehive hike. From the Mirror Lake to a waterfall, Lake Agnes, the famous tea house, and to the final viewpoint. The of tea the big house. Beehive. Okay. Oh, okay. While the trail this up this until is the Lake big Agnes beehive. And the tea right. house was very busy. The final and most rewarding push to the summit was relatively quiet. From the summit, oh, you'll be rewarded wow. with spectacular views of the world famous Lake Louise, which oh. looks electric blue from above. That's real life, man. <laughs> oh. The waterfalls, Lake Louise, the beehive. What do we have here? Oh. <sighs> okay. All right. I want to do this one. I want to do the beehive walk. The beehive hike. I definitely want to do it. Just look at everything you're seeing, mate. It's a great vantage point of Lake Louise. You see the beehive. You're seeing beautiful summits. You're seeing the turquoise Lake Louise. And it just looks like a mirror image of itself, doesn't it? It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And you're just seeing views for ages and ages and ages. This is absolutely spectacular. Haven't they picked a great time to do it? I'm guessing these hikes are done in summer. Maybe spring, absolutely beautiful. Just breathtaking. Oh, hold on. There's a code brown moment right there. <laughs> but look at it. Oh, look at everything she's seeing there. That's real life, man. That's incredible. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, okay, just pause it for a second. Guys, take a look at that. Have you stood on that peak, on that exact rock that this lady's standing on? And have you looked at this view? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just absolutely spectacular. The lake, look at the turquoise blue of that lake. Oh my God. That's all I can say. And just the surrounding, the the park, the national park itself looks absolutely incredible. This is the big beehive hike. This is the one I want to do. I, I'm My mind is blown, absolutely blown. Natural beauty, turquoise blue. Guys, if you've stood on this, this rock, if you've done this hike, tell me your stories. 
tell me, is it really that, was it hard? Was it hard, hard work? It said five to six hours. Is there an easier way to get to this point? Jump on, let me know. Oh, come on. <laughs> At number three, we were number to three. the magical Moraine Lake. But this time with the Larch Valley Trail. Larch Valley Trail, the hike okay. It starts at Moraine Lake, making for a perfect combination of both right. the lake views and the glacial views in the area. The tracks start from the eastern side of the lake and wind through a pretty dense forest. Oh, okay. But it's when you There's reach bears the valley there, man. it starts to get really interesting. With views oh. of the famous Ten Peaks, evergreen conifers, and the mesmerizing the Larch peaks. trees, you'll realize how magical this hike is. Is this the Ten Peaks? In is there ten of them? The <gasps> turn vivid yellow, you'll feel like you're in a fairy tale. There is ten of them. Oh, come on. So beautiful. Okay, so this is called the Ten Peaks. Is there ten peaks along here? I'm guessing that's why it's called the Ten Peaks. Oh my gosh, just absolutely beautiful larch valley trail <laughs> is the snow on the top of the peaks all year round probably a silly question <laughs> but you know we don't see snow here well not in my part of australia anyway <laughs> um it does snow here we do have snowy mountains in new south wales and victoria but yeah i is it like this all year round jump on and let me know it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful do you see bears? <laughs> they hibernate, don't they? Yeah, they do. They hibernate. But yeah, wouldn't you be afraid of seeing bears? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, just take it all in. That's that picture. Coming I'm going to stand two, there we one have day. Peak. Okay. This trail isn't the nearest to Banff Town Centre, but it's an absolute must do. A must do. It's located oh, in okay. Banff National Park <laughs> along the Icefields Parkway. Oh, all right. It's a must do. Difficulty, hard. Hiking time, seven to nine hours. Distance, 15.9 kilometers. <laughs> and I bet you it's going to look really, really awesome, like mind-blowing, spectacular. But <laughs> it's difficulty, hard. <laughs> I can't do this. There's no way. Let's see why this is ranked number two and why it's so beautiful. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this which is the highway you'd take if you're going to Jasper or to Mount Robson Provincial Park. You can't this walk that! This makes it the perfect stopover <laughs> on your way there. Okay. The Helen Lake and Cirque Peak Hike oh. is one of our all-time favorite hikes in the Canadian yeah, Rockies. Yeah, no. So it's no surprise that we've completed oh. it twice. Oh. The hike starts near the deep blue Bow Lake and winds through a forest for about three kilometers. Oh but gosh. then it opens up to a valley with stunning views yeah, all around Yeah, there's gotta be bears there, right? Eh? From there really is. From fields of wildflowers to river streams, rugged mountain peaks, and multiple little lakes. Aww. This trail has it all. Oh my gosh. Are they going to walk up to the top there? That's where they're going. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're going to walk up to the very top up there. Yep. Oh, you fall on those rocks. They're just scattered everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on for a minute. How beautiful was that view from up the top? I'm a little bit scared about going up there because those rocks look like they're all slippery and scattered, mate. And if you put your little hiking thing on the wrong, on a loose rock, that's it. <laughs> you're going down. You, That's it. You're cactus. That looked absolutely beautiful from up the very top there. Guys, if you have done that hike, please jump on, tell me your stories because I'm just blown away by how beautiful these views are. We don't have anything like this in Australia at all it's absolutely fantastic the the natural beauty of canada just blows me away you guys probably have if not the most beautiful country in the world in terms of like natural beauty 
mate. <laughs> Hands down, you guys probably win. <laughs> All right, number one. Let's see what it is. Is Mount Assiniboine. Mount Starting Assiniboine. Starting at Sunshine Village in Banff National right. Park. This route actually takes you across the British Columbia and Alberta border a couple what? of times. Okay. <laughs> this is the number one. Let's just read the stats here. Hard difficulty. 55.5 kilometers distance. Hike, three to five days. So what? Is there places for you to stay? Like, is there an Airbnb there somewhere? Or are you just full on just, you know, camping? Is that is that how this goes? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <gasps> I bet you it's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But where do you stay? Are you literally just putting your swag on your back, you know, and just sleeping somewhere? There's got to be bears here because you're you're way, way in there now. There has to be bears. What's going on? You can't seriously do this. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And then finishes in Kananaskis country. Okay. Filled with sparkling lakes, impressive glaciers. Oh, I bet you it is. mountain peaks and awe-inspiring alpine meadows. Hiking Mount Assiniboine is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Oh, I bet it is. <laughs> the hike can be completed in three days if you hike through the area. However, we don't recommend that. Yeah, no. <laughs> we spent five days in the area and used these two extra days to hike around Lake Magog yeah, and see, Mount Assiniboine itself. They take a tent and everything. Oh. Oh, you got to be an expert hiker to do this one, eh? Oh, but look at it. That's why they're doing it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's incredible absolutely incredible okay guys jump on do you agree are they the best hiking trials in banff national park have you done some of these hikes if you have tell me your stories that last one looked absolutely incredible but three to five days you're taking a swag right you're taking a tent you're taking all that, you know, that little camping food. You know how you get those packs and stuff like that with, you know, you make your rice and your little biscuits and all that sort of stuff. Like you're going into full on survivor mode sort of thing to do that one. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. It looks absolutely fantastic. I use in the word swag a lot. That's Aussie slang for tent. Okay. So yeah, you guys, that's another sl a slang word I'm teaching you. Um, it just looked absolutely incredible. Banff National Park. Blows my mind. Canada again. You guys probably have the most beautiful natural wonders in the world. Absolutely incredible. I just can't get over how beautiful the lakes look. The turquoise blue and then it, this reflection of itself. It's just like a mirror image. It's like you look it into a mirror. The snow on the mountains. Is it all year round there that you're seeing on the top of the peaks? Um, Bears. Have you done these hikes? Have you seen bears? If you did, how did it go for you? <laughs> <laughs> did they run away? Did you run away? I just have so many questions. I do want to do a few of these hikes. That would be absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I couldn't do, you know, like the really hard ones because I'm not walking for three to five days and I don't really like tents. I have got a fear of, of staying in those things because I'm afraid of the unknown and what's going to be out there. Um, I absolutely love this video, guys. If you did, if you've done these hikes, you want to show your stories, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers to Nananda. Take care. Bye.